Hello and welcome back to my one and only series on this YouTube channel, my gap year series, also known as the series I started to make sure that I actually planned and went ahead and did this gap year instead of just talking about it. <laughs> Honestly though, I scheduled this video a couple of months in advance and seeing that on my content calendar got me moving on some things that I had been procrastinating on. So this has actually been a very effective way to ensure that my gap year actually happened. So I thought I'd start this video out by talking about how I feel about the fact that my gap year is starting in about seven months. So as I mentioned in the first video of this series, I'm not doing college applications this year. I'm holding off on them until next year because I'm hoping that some of the experiences that I'll have on this gap year will influence the decision that I want to make regarding college, especially because I'm highly considering studying in another country. And so I kind of want to actually get a feel for the country before I decide to spend four years there. So that was a big stress off my shoulders for senior year, not having to worry about college applications. Um, but what I wasn't expecting was that not participating in this process that everyone else around me was taking part in would feel kind of lonely. Like, did I want to feel worried and stressed like I saw the people around me were feeling? No, but not experiencing that at the same time as everyone else kind of made me feel like I was falling behind in life. But I guess that feeling is normal and so I just had to remind myself that I need to just stay focused on my own path and just because I'm not doing what most other people are doing doesn't mean that I'm making the wrong decision. I'm just doing what I think is right for me. Um, while we're on the topic of feelings, another thing that I experienced was just this feeling of not knowing where to start. Honestly, the whole idea of the future is very overwhelming when you're a senior because I feel like I've been learning quite a bit about how to be an adult, but just the idea of putting all of that together and actually going out and living on my own is kind of terrifying. And in that same way, the idea of spending a year doing this and trying to prepare for a year of doing this is also pretty overwhelming. But again, I'm pretty sure that's a normal way to feel when you're about to go on a gap year. And for that, what I've been telling myself is that I just need to take it one step at a time and that if I do that, somehow this will all come together. Okay, so I haven't just been thinking and worrying about this. I've actually been doing some things. In my last video, I mentioned how much I love notebooks and especially free notebooks. And this notebook was actually also free. I'm very proud of myself. I won this in a giveaway on Instagram and it's such a pretty notebook. Notebook. I'm very excited about it. I wasn't sure what to do with it at first. Oh, this is a perfect place to plug my blog post. I did a blog post on things that you can do with empty notebooks if you're interested. So I decided to dedicate this notebook to being my gap year planning notebook. The notebook that I was using in my previous video, I was using that to take notes on this online course that I was doing on how to plan a gap year. So I filled that up and now I needed a new notebook and so this is what I'll be using. The first thing that I did in this notebook was I made a list of appointments that I need to schedule. A lot of these it is much too far in advance to actually schedule yet, but I thought it would be really helpful to make a checklist of what appointments I need to schedule and also the phone numbers that I need to call to do that. So on here I have an appointment with a travel medicine clinic where you basically talk to the doctor about what places you're gonna visit and kind of go over the vaccines you might need what medications you might need to bring with you just in case things like that um, I have just like the basic dental checkup vision checkup some of these are not really appointments but they're like things I need to get done so setting up a travel credit card another thing that I need to do is sign up for a self-defense class my parents are worried about me traveling on my own and we're still trying to figure out how we can kind of compromise and reach a point that we're both happy with and I think a self-defense class will help with that. That's not just something that they wanted me to do. I also really wanted to take it because I think it's just helpful for life. So I found a class and I found a friend to do it with. I just have to make sure that I'm available for those dates and then I'll be able to sign up for it. And then the last appointment that I wrote down was a meeting with a counselor at my school. So he's not my counselor, but my counselor recommended that I talk to him because he apparently went on a big like round the world trip. And so I was hoping he would have some advice for me. I don't really know a lot of people who have actually done this. So I figured it would be nice to have someone to ask questions and get advice from. Another thing I did and that I briefly mentioned in some video, I don't really remember which one honestly, is what you see behind me. So I created this calendar because I'm a very very visual person. Basically, I wanted a way to kind of visually and physically plan out my gap year. I wanted to be able to write things down and move them around and just get like a big picture view of how my year would look. So I decided to use this big empty wall that I have in my room. I made little labels for each of the months of my gap year and then I'm basically just using post-its to write information underneath them. So right now it's really, really loose and nothing is set in stone, but I just wanted to have some place to start because that really helps with the feeling of being overwhelmed 
when you have some sort of idea of where you'll be and when, then it just makes all of the rest of the steps much easier. Of course, I also wanted it to look pretty, so I put some pretty travel-y pictures around it and also some inspiring quotes. So it's kind of half calendar, half inspiration board, just like motivating me to follow through with this. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to mention in this video was that I just joined a bunch of travel Facebook groups. Some of them are just like generic travel groups. Some of them are for specific regions of the world. Some of them are for backpackers. So I joined a lot of different groups. For now, it's basically just serving the purpose of filling my Facebook feed with a little bit of travel inspiration. But I think as I get deeper into the more detailed planning process, then I'll actually be able to find some advice for the specific regions that I'm gonna be visiting and just be able to learn from people who have actually visited those same regions and done the same kinds of long-term travel and yeah that's everything I wanted to cover in this video I realize this is kind of a brief update but I think these will get more detailed and lengthy in the near future and yeah I hope you found this video interesting in some way if there's any specific parts of the planning process that you want me to cover in the next video please feel free to leave a comment I'm not sure when I'm gonna do the third video of this series I think it'll just depend on when I have done enough to fill up a video with me talking about my gap year but next week I will be back with the regular video as always so I will see you then bye